Complete glycolysis is a fermentation which occurs under anaerobic conditions. Let's look at one that you may already be familiar with, the reduction of pyruvate to lactate or lactic acid. This exergonic reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase, or LDH. Catalysis by a dehydrogenase gives away that this is a redox reaction. The enzyme is not allosterically regulated, but it actually comes in different shapes, some of which are reversible and others less so, or in reality, never reversible. Let's look at this enzyme a bit further. LDH is actually a tetramer made of two different monomer polypeptides called M, as in Mary, and H. In theory, up to five different LDH tetramers could be assembled with these two monomers, as shown here. You could have four M's, or three M's and one H, or two M's and two H's, or one M and three H's, or just four H's. In real life, some types of cells will have more H monomers in the LDH molecules, others more M monomers. In other words, there's an equilibrium in the concentration of all possible tetramers that tends towards M-rich or H-rich, or possibly equal amounts of all the tetramers, depending on the different proportions of the two monomers synthesized in the different cell types. Different versions of the same enzyme are called isoenzymes or isozymes for short. LDH can be extracted from different tissues and the different isozymes separated by starch gel electrophoresis. So we're going to be separating the different isozymes pretty much by charge alone. Here are extracts of heart and skeletal muscle LDH. The samples are put into the wells of an electrophoresis gel and the power turned on. At the end of electrophoresis, the gel is stained, in this case specifically for LDH. You can see that the different LDH isozymes are differentially charged in solution, and there are actually five different spots, each representing one of the different isozymes. It turns out that the M-rich, especially M4 LDH, is the least reversible. In fact, as I suggested a moment ago, in real terms it's never reversed, while H4 is readily reversible. Here's an explanation of how the LDH isozymes in different cell types serves our physiology. During strenuous activity, respiration cannot keep up with the demand for ATP needed to fuel skeletal muscle contraction. As a result, pyruvate builds up, and an M-rich LDH isozyme in turn reduces the pyruvate to lactate. The resulting buildup of lactic acid cannot be indefinitely sustained, causing the muscle ache you probably know as muscle fatigue. When you're finally forced to rest, lactic acid cannot be reoxidized to pyruvate because the M4 or M-rich LDH isozymes do not readily reverse the reaction. So the lactate is released into the circulation to be picked up by cells with more H-rich LDH isozymes. These cells oxidize the lactate and then the pyruvate for their own use. Heart muscle contains mostly H-based LDH isozymes which makes sense since cardiac muscle relies exclusively on respiration for its ATP needs for contraction.